name is Colin, and this is a day in the life of a dental assistant. I got into dentistry when I was around 19. I went to a vocational school, learned all about dental assisting. From there, I got certificates in coronal polishing, x-ray, and then I went to the state of California board testing to become a registered dental assistant. And I've been doing this for over a decade now. Typically, first thing in the morning when I first get here, I'll take a look at the schedule, I'll kind of skim it, make sure we have all the things we need. So it looks like we've got a cleaning and a veneer seat, some fillings next to that, and a liner check, an exam here, an exam there. So we'll make sure all of our trays are set up, everything's ready to go beforehand, so that way we're on time for all of our patients. The challenges I see for today we're trying in veneers for our patient. It's James Day! It's James Day! Are you so excited? Occasionally, a patient might not like the way they look, or they might not fit properly, and then we've got to change the whole appointment to redo this case for him. So that's always something that could come up. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, that's not going to be the case for today. Look at those pretty babies. Let me go grab Dr. Ashley and then we'll get that going for you. Okay. And then you'll be ready to roll. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go get the doctor. So right now we're going to set up these veneers and then we're going to try them in before we cement them in. So we're going to make sure that doctor likes the way they look, but most importantly James likes the way they look and we'll make sure they fit properly. Oh, I'm good. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. You like them? <laughs> I love them. They look so good. I'm so used to not smiling. Oh, <laughs> we're changing that for you. Oh. We'll take some x-rays, make sure everything's sealed properly, make sure there's no excess cement anywhere, check his bite, and then he's pretty much good to go. <laughs> I have a really fun trivia question for you. How long does it take to become a dental assistant and do you even have to go to school? Stay tuned and you're gonna find out all the answers coming up. <laughs> the skills needed for dental assisting, the biggest one I think is honestly communication and being a people person because you are working on a person every single minute of that job, really. But there's also a lot of skills that are job related. We have to do bloodborne pathogen learning, keeping up with our CEs, continuing education, x-ray license, coronal polishing, making temporaries. There's a lot of hands-on skills too. Dental assisting is a great way to get your foot in the door if you like anything with teeth or dentistry. You can become a dental assistant, a registered dental dental assistant, I'm a dental hygienist. You can work in a general practice, in a cosmetic practice, oral surgery. There's something for everyone, really. Okay, so I'm gonna run some errands. Okay. I'll be back. Yeah, because you have a final check at two and then an ex another exam at two as well, but you have nothing in between. Okay. I didn't really know that I wanted to go into dentistry. I had a child when I was 19 and being able to work and go to the school and learn these skills that I needed was something that I could do with a child at a very young age. And I didn't have to have a four year degree or anything like that to complete that, which was really important to me. I love this job. It's not just a job, it's a career for me. So I'm just really thankful that I found it. I really love doing small things, making sure all the details are perfect. It totally helps me in my job with lab work, setting up for cases, making sure cases go out correctly, giving people the smile that they want. You really have to have a niche for the small, fine details of things. You're gonna be right in here. Since he's been in Invisalign, we're scanning as a follow-up to see the progress. The best part of my day is being able to assist in giving someone the smile that they've always dreamed of. I love when the patients leave here and they feel so happy and so fulfilled and they're smiling from ear to ear when before they never used to smile. They would cover their teeth and they smiled because they weren't proud of the smile they had and that's 
the best feeling is when they're happy when they leave here. The advice I would give to someone looking to get into dental assisting would be honestly just to go for it. If you have a dental office nearby, maybe you can pop in and see if you can shadow someone for a day, shadow the doctor for a day, just see if that's even something that you might be interested in. If you just give it a shot and just see for a day, you might be surprised and you might find that you like it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Oh my God. <laughs> Am I smiling? Yeah. <laughs> you are. We're coming for you. Drop your name below if you want to be on the interest list. <laughs>